What's up YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor and today we're going to be looking at how to add images to our Factory Talk Studio HMI program. What we're going to do is we're going to be building on the last video where we created momentary buttons, but today we're going to be looking at the library inside of Factory Talk and using some of those pictures for the buttons. Okay, this just kind of spices things up a little bit. So I've already created my HMI connection to my PLC. You can see my PLC program that I have running inside of a PLC inside our lab. All of our tags are base tags and I'm just going to pull into the HMI. But I'm going to be creating a stop, a start, a pressure, all push buttons. And then I'm going to be creating a compressor run for our um, output of our HMI. So we start by doing just like we did before. We're going to come in to bring in a momentary push button. And then we get our same screen that we got before. But this time, we're going to do a few things here on this first page. So what, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, on a border style, we're going to say none. Now I'm just going to apply this so you can see in the background what happens. See that border goes away. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our back transparent because if the push button doesn't fill the complete box, it'll just be transparent. It won't look kind of weird. So then we go into states like we did before. Now remember state zero is what it looks like when it's not energized. When we push it, it goes to state one. We'll go ahead and put, this will be our stop button. We'll go ahead and put stop there that's going to show up. But instead of just having leaving it at that, we're going to come down to our image settings here. And we're going to click on this little link here. It's going to bring up this page. Now you have a selection of images here that you can choose from. They're just real basic images that you can look through and it's just basic things that you can add as an image overlay for that button. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to launch our library. By the way, you can also launch from file. Now let me just show you this real quick. If you do a push button from a file, you got three options with the newer factory talk. You've got BMP, JPEG, and then now you've got the PNG. The older versions don't allow you to use PNGs, but you do have those options. But what we're going to do is we're going to use an image from the library because this is a huge library inside of Factory Talk. So we're going to do Launch Library, and I've already got push buttons brought up here, but just real quickly to show you, uh, there's all kinds of push buttons that we can use here. You got your 3D buttons. So as you go through there and you can have like for instance this switch here when it's not activated it can be up and then you can have this when it activates go down okay same way right and left there's just all kinds of different images that we can use here um, there's some more print type drawings uh, doors so you can do a garage door open and close for instance you have arrows but what we're going to use is gadget buttons. And when you go through here, you have different gadget buttons that you can choose from. All right, so let's go and we're going to use, let's use this for our stop. Okay, so the way you do is you select your image and you go to copy and it brings that down. This is kind of cumbersome. I don't know why they have you do this, but then you got to go paste from library and it brings this image in. Okay, and you can change the name if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit OK at this point. There's your image. Now you hit OK. All right, now that is for your state zero. If I go to state one, I go back to image, go from launch library, and it pulls up that same area that you've had before. And I'm going to choose this one. To simulate me pushing the button. Again, I hit copy, paste from library, hit OK. Now I've got my two states. I hit OK at that point. All right, so I'm going to go back to state zero. Now I add my connection like I did before, and I've already refreshed folders here, and this is going to be my stop button. So I double click my stop, hit OK. OK, now once that is selected, I hit OK. Now you can see my button here, all right? Let's just play this so you can see what's going on. So here's my button, you see it says stop. Watch up here, when I push it, you can see it activates and it looks like I actually push a button in. 
pretty cool in it all right so let's go ahead and make our other buttons real quick let's bring in a new object push button momentary for our start and we're going to do the same thing no border transparent back our state zero we'll put start and then our image launch library and then this time we'll use our green button here for our start then we hit copy paste from library okay okay now last thing is our connections choose start okay and then okay all right so there's our start and stop now let's do something different for our pressure let's do a push button but let's do a maintain push button for this and let's use one of those toggles that we looked at so we're going to do none transparent okay state zero I'm not going to put anything for this because it's going to be a toggle we don't want to have a word over it so I'm going to choose image so let's use this toggle for our pressure switch okay when it's off we hit copy paste okay state one choose this for our state one and then finally we'll make our connection There's our pressure, okay. And I left that in state two on accident. There, all right. Now let's let's do something fun also for our run. So let's do our indicator multi-state. Do a box here. Do the same thing. No, we're going to do transparent there. And then we're going to delete states because this is just going to be off or on. So we only need two states for this. So state zero, let's go down here and find an image. Launch library. Let's use our motors here. And what we'll do is we'll use this for state zero. Copy that. And then we'll use for state one the same image but a different color. represent it running and again you can do a, a lot of different images with this so we'll make this our compressor running okay then we hit OK now let's watch this operate now so let's watch the pressure switch turn it off turn it back on so you can toggle that so we're going to keep that on. Now we're going to hit our start. We see our motor changes states until we hit stop. All right, so that's how we use images to kind of make our HMI screens look a little better. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope this helped you out, and I will see you next time.